It's also Friday night. What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? What are you planning on doing? You are now listening to Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast. Let's get into it. Episode 41, Limited Trust, a Devastator podcast, adjusting this pop fucking filter here. <clears throat> back, back in a pod garage, fucking nice day today, just just doing nice day shit, you know, like recording fucking podcasts in the gay garage, um, <laughs> but uh, yo, shout out to Threads coming through, being that new shit. Probably just another fucking waste of time, but you know what? I'm gonna fuck with it and see what we could do. Plus, plus I'm kind of using it like a, like a personal, uh, I don't know, personal fucking whatever. Actually, you know what? While we're just sitting right here bullshitting, let's fucking we're gonna post. We're gonna post a thread. We're gonna do a, a fucking thread. We're gonna take a picture of the fucking uh, what's going on, and then we're gonna say. Live in the motherfucking building, bitch. You know what it is. Damn, the fucking camera looks like shit out here. There we go. Boom. And we're going to go hit the threads. I don't know. You guys been fucking with that threads? I never, I had never had a Twitter. So this is kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a first for me to have this type of thing. And, and you know, it's kind of fucked up. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Facebook back in the day, like just, just typing some shit just because you, you want to. Uh, hold on, I'm typing my B. <laughs> and, uh. So I just posted the thread. So if you're listening to this and you see the thread, just know that I posted that joint. You understand what it is. Okay. I don't know. Did it even post? I don't really know if it even posted. It's saying I got no fucking internet. Whatever. Oh, no. There's that. I don't know. Because I'm so far. This thing constantly just tries to use Wi-Fi. And, uh. It's just a piece of shit, that's all. Sorry, everyone. I'm getting off track here slightly by by trying to do a little technology thing. Threads keeps stopping. Oh, so it's just a piece of shit. Apparently, Threads is having a fucking issue. So while I sit here and do a live plug, it just uh, fails on me multiple times. So big Zuck, fucking get on top of that, dog. I'm sitting here fucking clowning the shit. On a on fucking limited trust podcast, you know what that means? Well, well, yeah, this shit won't work. It fucking refuses to work. It refuses to post. That's strange. Well, I just want to tell you, the attempt was fucking made. I can only I can only fuck with this shit. It just shuts right down. Holy fuck! I wonder if I just do anything. Ooh. And then what type? Then if you if I try to upload a picture to this motherfucker, it just doesn't do it. Huh. Well, that's something, isn't it? Anyway, that wow, that was a, a total fucking fail on uh, on whoever there's fucking part, cocksuckers. <laughs> so I've been with this with this threads. I've been seeing um, more, and this is just a couple of days, but I've been seeing more uh, discussion based threads about graffiti and um and 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 I, I think a lot of it's like pandering because it's people i don't even know or I, I never heard of but they seem to have some kind of following and it's and it seems to be more pandering which i'm guilty of myself sometimes i don't know if it's pandering is the right word but like so what's the best types of graffiti just because you know people are gonna fucking talk about this shit um and and i saw someone talking about uh 
oh, I'm about to do the, this 80s box style or some shit, you know, 80s subway style or, you know, whatever the fuck you could call it, something. And then I, it made me start thinking. I was thinking, like, you know, if if the people who are the legends of graffiti as we know it. Now, I know everyone likes to claim this person did it first or that person did it first or, you know, whatever. Um, I, I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a good argument because who the fuck knows, man? You know, I, I was up in the wings of the fucking, of the Times Square building and there was fucking pencil graffiti from the fucking twenties up there. You know, people writing fucking Jim was here type shit with a fucking pencil and cursive. Um, so I, I mean, is that graffiti, you know what I mean? Or is it cornbread or, you know, who, who, who knows? Or is it the motherfuckers who are writing in the caves and shit, you know, and old cave drawings? I mean, so, so I don't know. Graffiti, it started when, when you think it did. <laughs> and, um, so I, what I was thinking was, is how everyone yells the fucking T word at everybody else. Now I've, I've, I've said the T word a few times, but I, I refuse to call somebody that. Um, but people definitely, uh, not myself, hurl that insult at people sometimes. And I'm on like the, uh, graph help, uh, Reddit subreddit and, uh, man, people get fucked. And I've, I've fucking, I've fucking smashed a couple people on there myself. I'm not, I'm not innocent, but, um, but people, so, so anyway, my, my point is, is, um, the criticism is out there, right? Everyone knows that we're all critics and some of us are our biggest critics are ourselves. But, um, what, <laughs> what I'm getting at here is if you tried to come with these styles that the people quote unquote, the legends in the game were coming with in, uh, you know, eighties, nineties, shit, late seventies, whatever, early nineties, you dude, you would get, all people would do is talk shit to you. If you came with that old fucking, you know, weirdo colors, fucking squiggly lines and fucking no 3D, you know, whatever. People would fucking shit all over you. And and, I, and even hand styles, like hand styles were basically just like written, you know, they were just like handwriting. There was no, there, there really wasn't, I guess you could say there really wasn't style to it. And, um, and then eventually as everything evolved, you know, even little by little, sorry, even little by little, it got more technical, right? So as, as graffiti evolved and lettering and different forms of graffiti evolved, um, it, it became more technical, no matter how you want to look at it, whether it went from just simply like, like simple bubble letters, you know what I mean? Like everyone knows bubble letters. Um, and, and even those today are like, you know, crazy throws are like fucking throws are almost like pieces sometimes when, you know, that the throws are so technical and they're so clean and crisp and, and they, they got fucking all the characteristics of a piece, but it's a throw. But, but then some people, you know, some throws are true to life, you know, fucking, you know, fucking two colors, fucking, but, um, it's crazy what people, I, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's just a talking point of, of being, uh, of being critical it is by saying like what's whack what's garbage what isn't because i'm pretty sure like <sighs> garbage is in the eye of the beholder to a certain extent i'll say because i mean if you're like mad trash i mean you're fucking trash like that's like i'm trash i don't give a fuck i'm not i'm not here trying to pretend to be something i'm not i never have but, but then there's people that's like, that's, it's, and you know, and you can tell when people first start too, because they'll have like their regular tag and they'll have like all kinds of these like jagged lines and shit, like with an R, you know, like these jagged points, like the, 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 the round part of the R would be like jagged and fucking like a point. 
like a triangle instead of a rounded curve or whatever the fuck, you know? And then you see like, and then they have like, everything's like squiggly and then they'll have like a fucked up halo on it. And then they'll put like arrows off the bottom of the letters and shit. And, and it's funny, but that you, but you just know like, oh, that's fucking new. You know, that this dude right here has been doing this for a week and a half. And, and we're all guilty of it, you know, of what we thought was cool or what we thought was what it was. I like to think that I have, um, I, I, I well, I can't say that because this is just my personal opinion. But, like, I can look at something and say, like, that shit is fucking ill. And some people just don't, uh. Some people just think everything is whack except for, like, what's cool in their area. Like, you know, a Philly dude will be like, nothing but fucking, but wickets, you know? Like, that's it. Oh, the, the tall hands, that's it. Blah, 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 all this crazy shit. But to be well-rounded is uh, is is a trait that I think uh, the internet has brought out. And, and I'm hoping that people are opening up their fucking... Hoping, opening up their horizons or whatever to to seeing new style shit, and uh, but really, man, you know, like that fucking that Taki shit, that shit would not be flying these days. He would be fucking out of here. Cornbread, that would be out of here. They'd be like, get him out of here. <laughs> but but yet, yeah, but these are the legends. Now I don't know if it's because they're the legends of of vandalism, or you know, the art of getting up. Um, or if, because at the time that shit was fire, you know, the first guy who ever put a crown on his shit was probably the fucking man. He'd be like, Oh shit. You know, the first guy to ever fucking put the little, the little star thing after it, you know, Oh shit. Or quotations or whatever fucking, you know, that was probably the shit, but it's just, it's funny how, how things, they don't. Things don't translate the way they used to, and now it's almost like you have to, you have to be like crazy fucking. Everything's got to be super tech, wild style, three D, fucking drop shadow, beveled, you know, shines, fucking all this shit just to do anything, or else, oh, you're a piece of shit, you know. So I don't know, I don't know if I don't even know if what I'm saying is is accurate. It's just kind of what I'm what I'm looking at reading these fucking th- this thread shit is like everything has got to be fucking everything has got to be a certain way or else it's it can't be any way you know I don't know is that right maybe that's right look so now I just really quick did a fucking so I got maybe the picture's too big I don't know I don't understand it I don't, I don't get it this shit ain't working I just tried to do it again right quick. And it apparently is just the fucking, the picture I took, because I got it on my fucking, it's just really bothering me that that shit didn't work, it's fucking annoying, we're gonna try it again. So, I don't know man, maybe I'm just fucking, maybe I'm just rambling, I mean I kinda am just rambling because I don't really... I don't know. Do I even know what the fuck I'm talking about? Not really. Am I? Have I been doing this shit for 25 years? Am I worthy of... Live in the pod garage. Here we go. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can do it again. So it must have been... The, I did the one picture and it must have been too big. And it must not like the fucking... The massively uh, large photos. Pause. <laughs> so So now if you see that, now you know what it is. But, um, and, and you could see, and you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a real, I'm a real big fan of that calligraphy stuff, man. Calligraphy? Is that what you, is that what the term that it's given itself? I think a lot of that shit is fire, even though a lot of people are kind of just copying the same techniques of like that, uh, that shadow fucking looks like you can reach right into the canvas kind of shit. I think that shit is fire. And, uh, well, I think that shit is fire and I think it should be explored a little more than just the same thing over and over again. <laughs> I don't know. 
and and then it then I start to think about all this shit, right? So I'm I'm fucking stupid, right? I'm I I'm an idiot and I'm all over the place. So I'm thinking, all right, so '90s graffiti would that still be would that still be, or I, I, you know, it probably isn't even '90s because I do I knew this dude from Oakland named Sid Daz C I D A Z. If anyone knows him, fucking tell him I said what's the deal. Um, and, and he was, he was running around in Oakland in the nineties, early nineties and shit. And he had was fucking crazy wild style shit. So maybe I'm, maybe I should be talking more like eighties when it was very simple, when you had fucking, you know, not a lot of cans, not a lot of this, not a lot of that. Um, but if, if anyone came with any of those styles today, you'd be fucking laughed off the block. And I know some people try to like it, like the anti-style kind of thing. And, and that doesn't hit the way that I think, uh, that I think people are expecting it to, you know, if they're like, wow, that dude's fucking crazy and edgy when really it just kind of looks like shit. And you're like fucking capping people. And I don't know. I don't fucking know. Again, this is all shit. I don't, I don't even fucking know. <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like an asshole because I, I don't really know, but th- it's just observations that I'm making. And then, like, wh- and where do you draw the line? Like, are, is, is stenciling and like wheat pasting and shit like that? Is that fucking mad whack? Because I've seen some cool shit, and and I get and graffiti is graffiti, man. And fucking, you know, I don't hate on any of that shit. Like, and I don't hate on the mural people either. Like, I don't know why the fuck they get such a bad rap. Oh, yo, blah, blah, blah. dude, what the fuck, man? I think sometimes people are just mad that they can't do that. You know, I think sometimes people are upset that that they're fucking keeping it real. Is fucking keeping them ducats out of their pocket because they got to keep it real so fucking much that ain't no one having that shit. You know, if you if you want to live on both sides of the fucking fence, create a fucking alter ego for yourself and go make some money, dude. Because I know some of these guys out there are making some ducats now. Now, in that case, if you already have a big name in graffiti, um, you would you would have to, I guess, kind of start over um, in doing that type of shit and building a name for yourself in your alter ego. But I mean. It sounds like it could be somewhat lucrative and you could be doing something that you like to do. So I'm not against any of that shit. You know, the whole street art, fucking whatever. Dude, uh, do whatever you want, man. You know, and if it gets if it gets fucking capped out, that's just what happens. You know, and some people are going to do that. You know, am I like, oh, I'm about to go out and do the street art. Nah, I'm not going to do that. But, but to people that do, I don't fucking give a shit. Do whatever you want. Do wheat paste. People do political shit. But people do fucking, uh, you know. People do their own thing, and I think uh, I think a lot of that shit is is good, and it's evolving, and and the evolution of graffiti I think is a good thing. And there's a lot of fucking old heads that, and and, and they're not. You know, half of them aren't even old heads because I know fucking people who have been in this shit thirty years that are all about progression and all about fucking. The, the evolution of the shit these are just wannabe fucking old heads these are like fucking nostalgia driven fucking lames that that fucking want something to complain about you know they just fucking want to talk about the good old days all the time like oh yo oh, you even know that paint smells so much better yo we had that scent shut the fuck up <laughs> nah <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah shut the fuck up um but you, everyone knows who I'm, the kind of people who I'm talking about. And I'm really not even talking about anyone specific. Um, but that that whole fucking type of thing, you did, as I would normally call it, the fucking graffiti purist, um, they're against the evolution of this shit. They're against the internet of, the, you know, posting of this kind of stuff. Um, and I think that's like, you know that's like my my grandparents and and not wanting to fucking get computer savvy and even by computer i mean just like the voicemail on the phone and even just a cell phone you know um you're 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 kind of boxing yourself in and you gotta you gotta look out there i think the internet is fucking amazing for graffiti because it it has it has 
shown styles to people who, who would have otherwise maybe never have seen it. Like, let, let's just say, just, just for instance, right now, I've never been to California, right? I, I've been to a lot of places. I've never been to California. Um, now, without the internet, there would be there there would be like certain things about fucking West Coast graffiti that I would just not know existed if it wasn't for that. And simply because I haven't been there, and the only person that I know that spent any time in California was is fucking Paulie, and he was fucking smoking meth and schizophrenic for eighteen months, and I couldn't really. You know, ask him, so while you were out there, what was the graffiti like, dog? You know, so it's like it, only when someone would do a tour of your city and come through when they were on vacation and fuck your shit up, do you might see something, you might see something a little different or, or, or they moved or, you know, whatever. So I think, I think the evolution and changing of graffiti since the beginning of fucking time, I think is amazing. And it's awesome. And it's in and, and and I got nothing against super technical crazy shit, super big shit. I got nothing against small shit. I mean, I think I well not I think I am at heart. I'm just a regular fucking tagger kind of thing. Like um I'm, I'm just not doing shit, you know, I'm catching tags here and there, throw up a couple stickers. Whatever. I got I just that's what I do. You know, I've never been big into doing other shit. I used to go a little fucking crazy with them fucking ultra wide cans for a little bit on billboards and shit and buildings, but then that shit just got old, and I was just tired of that. And uh, and I just, uh, you know, I've I've always had that looming fucking I don't want to go back to jail, and and I don't want to go for a long time kind of thing. And and once I and when I started graffiti it was basically like when I started having kids, and um, it kind of. It, it made it like I couldn't I, I can't go to jail you know what I mean I can't I just can't do that so so I'll always be partial or partial is that what it is bias I don't know I'll always be I'll all hand styles and just simple tags will always have a fucking place in my heart and even even complex tags I fucking love that shit and if people are like yo this shit took him 15 seconds so fucking what man let him do his thing. If it took him 15 seconds, I mean, it took him 15 seconds to get this tag off. Whatever. You know, we all know everything should be in two, two seconds. Oh, oh. Yeah, whatever. Everyone always fucking knows everything. It's another thing I'm tired about. Everyone always knows everything. No one can't just have an opinion or a thought. You know, someone I'll be like, nope, dumb. Tell you what, in 1984, on the fucking on the fucking A train. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, shut the fuck up. I seen someone arguing about some Tony Hawk shit on Instagram the other day, and I was like, are you two fucking grown adults arguing about the fucking 900 spin? Fucking like the 900 about Tony Hawk. This shit was 20 years ago when they're fucking talking about. Who gives a fuck? Like, who fucking gives a shit? I'm, I'm obviously them, but... Dude, isn't there, like, other things going on? Ugh. But then I say that, but then I'm trolling and shit. Like, I see some people like my comments on, like, other pages sometimes. Like, like people that I was like, oh, shit, it's funny that, that I've seen this guy. You know, someone I know was at this other random page of me talking shit. But really, I just do that to try to to try to bring traffic because I've had like a couple of fucking stupid comments that I've made like fucking give thousands of likes and I don't know if it does anything but but that's definitely me just busting balls all the time and and I, I there's nothing more that I love to do than just fucking break balls and bust chops at people especially people that I don't know you know I, I talk like a fucking idiot and fucking type shit wrong and and uh just try to really get a rise out of people anyway got off track here but this whole thing has been off track i'm like my mind's all over the place and uh i'm fucking sunburned almost i thought i was gonna die the other day at the fucking went to an amusement park went to old darien lake and i got the fuck burnt out of me man so i still feel like i'm recovering from that because my pasty cracker ass fucking skin just just couldn't handle it i mean i could i did we were there for fucking 11 hours or some shit and i uh, I'm just feeling a little rough, and that was two fucking days ago. So, 
going to go watch some drag races tonight. That should be a good time. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm just thinking. I, my mind's all over the place thinking about shit and just watching people argue on this new platform about about graffiti and, and what graffiti should be. And and I, I think graffiti is what you want it to be. Let it be yours. You know, fucking do your thing and 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 start start for simple and i've never made it past a fucking doing a throw up like like the way graffiti was taught to me was was you do you, you start your steps you know you start with the hand style well you start with your name get your name and then you start with your hand style and then you go once you got that down then you go to your fucking throw up and then once you got that down and you started with your pieces and your straights and shit like that. Well, probably straights and pieces, but whatever. And then you just go and, and, and you and you don't move and you don't go to the next one until you got the one mastered. And I don't. And it's been this fucking long. But I just don't do it enough. But I'm also not like, fuck it, time for me to go and try to do this other shit. Like the people who taught me graffiti taught me that way and I don't think when when they were telling me this that they ever thought it would that I would be you know stuck at the at the throw up stage but I don't know if I'm stuck there or if I'm just kind of staying here you know I'm I, I think I'm I think I could be capable of the next level but it's just uh um making sure everyone has what they need in in all aspects is more important to me uh, making sure you guys have all your tools and all your shit is more important to me. Making sure my fucking, my kids have what they need is more important to me. So, you know, I might not be the, the fucking all-time graffiti guy here, but I'll tell you this. I'm definitely the fucking arms dealer of the bunch. I got you. <laughs> you know, there's some people that fight the wars and there's some people that sell the weapons. You know what I mean? Everyone, everyone needs a fucking firearm. <laughs> so that's about it man I'm gonna cut this shit short because I gotta still I got a bunch of shit to do I clean the fucking I clean the work area and shit and I restack the fucking pod garage cans and I made the wall bigger so whoever's next hitting the wall up has got a little bit more room thanks silo for breaking my balls and making me fucking making me think about that shit to the point where I fucking ended up doing it and doing fucking drywall work but uh Alright, it's only a little short one today. Oh shit! Shout out to motherfucking Bus from Machine Studio, man. Dude, the the marker drop came out, which you might be able to still get one. That shit is fucking flames. I can't wait for mine to come. I bought one because I just want one to put up and then and take pictures of because I love taking pictures of shit. And what a good fucking thing, man. I'm I'm really happy with how that turned out. So I want to say thank you. And and for all the help and, and everything and and for everyone else and everyone that went and got one man I fuck with you man thank you so much that that was um that you know Machine Studio as a whole has uh has has put their I, do I want to say put their neck on the line because I don't I don't, yeah yes and and be, but I but but Bus is a smart dude. He's a real smart businessman, and I don't think he would. I don't think we would have been having those discussions and moving along if he hadn't thought that maybe putting the neck on the line was. Uh, I I don't know if that he would have done that. You know, if it was like something risky, I don't know. How this could be. I he's too smart for that. So I think he. I think he knew that. That, that we could do something good together and that's why we are because because he, he's a smart guy man he's a fucking and I don't know I you know we, we talked a bunch I don't know if he went to school for the stuff but he definitely knows he knows business and he's a fucking amazing artist as well but but I I appreciate you taking the the chance and giving me the opportunity um, to try and to try and make something together so that that means a lot to me. And uh, you see how I say like put your neck out on the line, but then it makes it seem like you like do risky fucking stupid shit and, and you don't. So I, I can't use that terminology <laughs> because you're fucking way smarter than that, man. So if anyone else wants to make some good fucking business decisions, let's get this project bumping. <laughs> now nah, I'm just kidding, man. I'm fucking 
I uh, I don't know if I got it in me at this point right now. I got to get a new T-shirt out soon. Then I got some projects I got to do. But I really though, if you ever want to, anyone ever wants to do anything, holler. We could talk about it. I can't say that I'll for sure do it, but but I'm fucking I'm I'm open to listen to anything and and uh, and maybe we could figure something out or even come to some kind of middle ground and figure something out. But show shout out to them. Shout out to everyone. Funerals is done for now. Hopefully the fourth was good and everyone hope everyone was good. Bang. All right, that's it. I'm fucking done. I need to get a drink. I need to edit this. I need to upload this. And then I need to get ready to go from motherfucker. I'm out of here.